Hello Twin Flames, thank you so much for being here, thank you for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world to me. Thank you so much for this amazing family that we're creating, I'm super blessed to be a part of this and I know you can feel it too. We are family, we are here to love and support and protect and be there for each other always and it's Easter today. It's Good Friday, so happy Easter. We're jumping on tonight, we're doing a live stream, 11.11 11 UK time. It's going to be our Easter meetup, our family get together. We're going to make the energy electrifying. We're going to talk twin flames. We're going to be talking about the divine masculines. We're going to be talking about the moon energy that's coming in. We've got the full moon today, the full moon creating magic prosperity, abundance and amazing power energy for the Divine Feminines and then we're going to be talking about the new moon that's coming in in May that's creating action forward for the masculines, amazing. I've got channel messages to give out, I'm going to be recording a video on these as well, I've got channel messages come through from Archangel Michael, from the masculines themselves and for the collective. I'm super excited, so check that out, 11.11pm 11, 11 UK time tonight, our Easter special. For now, I'm going to tune into the cards and really see what the angels want us to know. I just want to say as well a big thank you for all the amazing response that I've had about the free tarot series that I'm going to be doing. Learn the tarot with me for free. I'm starting that on Monday. It's going to be a very long series. There's going to be about 100 episodes. We're going to do a card a day. We're going to talk about the tarot. We're going to learn spreads. We're going to do a lot there and we're going to end that with a tarot live stream. So I'm super excited for that one. So watch this space. Good things are coming in. So angels, thank you for being with me and all the Divine families watching right now. What do we need to know, please, on this day? Yeah, all of them. Let's have a look then. Wow. <clears throat> what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Now, the masculines are letting go as well. So this is mirrored energy coming up. And once again, they show me this is the new moon that's coming in. So think about what you need to release between the full moon and the new moon. We've got the full moon now. It's a very high time of emotions, confusion going on with the masculines. The angels have told me the masculines are very much in ego right now. And they've been healed from the ego. There's a lot of pain within them, anger within them, resentment within them. And this is very much connected with what they've grown up with, what they've been through in the past. So they're releasing all these feelings now. So there's going to be some real need to release going on before the new moon. And the angels are saying, what do you need to release? Really think about it. Is there anything you need to let go of now? We're in Easter Good Friday today, Jesus died on this day and he was reborn on Easter day. So it's a great time for letting go, for purging, for healing the past, for forgiveness energy, for, you know, completely shutting away anything now no longer serving you. It's it's like it's been, it's been dead and buried now. The same buried away so that when you're reborn this weekend, you're reborn with love, light, joy, protection, you're feeling powerful and strong. The angels are saying, let that person, the person who was weak, the person who, you know, went into fear energy, was negative, let that person die today and then be reborn over the weekend with power, strength and fascination for what's to come. So think about what you need to release, let go and be reborn in power energy. Amazing. A time to give rather than take. So obviously now's the time to give to give love, to give kindness, to give compassion, to give all the good things that you desire for yourself. And the angels are saying you may be giving out eggs this weekend, chocolate, you know, you may be giving out compliments, happiness, good things, spreading love, spreading joy, amazing. Hold your vision, hold your vision here, you know. It's saying that when we've got all this energy coming in and they're showing me the cycles of the moon from the moon that's coming in now, this full moon, right up until the new moon, it's a time to hold your vision, to see things clearly, to let go, to surrender, to let what was be, to bring newness in. It's a time of power. The angels are saying for the divine feminines, it's a real time of power right now, a time of power to stand strong, to know with unwavering faith that this journey is real and that things are falling into place. 
before I started recording this video, I heard a bee. And, you know, I was a bit worried because I've told you this before. I really, you know, as much as we're loving the bees this year, they still freak me out. So I heard a buzzing noise and I thought, oh, you know, is there a bee in here? And I was kind of looking around and there was no bee. The angels were saying, you're going to see bees today. The bees are starting to flow in now because it's signs of the spring awakening. And the closer we get to the new moon in May, the more bees you're going to see because that's the angel's promise to you that your masculine is coming forward with action, coming forward with emotion. And this is coming in in the new moon. And I'm going to talk about this on the stream tonight because that's brand new information that they gave me yesterday. So the full moon right now, and they keep showing it me like that. It's bringing fullness in for the divine feminine, helping you to feel powerful, sexual, attractive, dynamic, divine, beautiful, amazing, fabulous, and all of these things you're going to feel in your power. And the masculines are in ego. The healing from the ego. I've done a channel message from Archangel Michael, and he's telling us to let go to surrender, to release, to allow them to have the space to really work on themselves right now. And that's what we need to do. So look at this, emotions are running high. You know, we've got the super moon and it is a bit of a super moon going on right now. You know, the angels are saying there will be high and low emotions and you are picking up on the sensations of your divine masculine right now. You know, we've been through all kinds of physical symptoms. Luckily for me, the neck pain isn't as bad today. It's pretty much gone. So, you know, I've still got a muzzy head. I still feel a bit croaky. You know, I'm still feeling a bit strange, but things are getting better. And that's because today is the final day the masculines are being worked on in the throat chakra area. And they're starting to really awaken now. You know, they're being moved forward. But again, the angels are telling me now it's going to be around the new moon when they start to take action. April is still a very still time where they are in solitude energy. They're being healed. They're being worked on. So you have to really work on yourself. You know, don't worry about the masculines. Leave them alone. Let them do what they are doing. You focus on standing in your power. You focus on releasing your things. You focus on giving and holding your vision. And obviously everything else will fall into place. So if your emotions are running high, and we had the tears yesterday. There was tears, emotions, ups and downs, highs and lows. There was some drama going on as well. You know, if you had any drama yesterday, it all happened to help you to release emotions emotion, to release emotion, to feel better, to feel cleansed, to feel revitalized for what's coming in next. It's amazing when you think of it. Angels, what do we need to know, please, about the dynamic right now, please? <clears throat> what do we need to know? Wow, irresistible. You are irresistible like a moth to a flame. The masculine is drawn to you like a moth to a flame, and it says that here. You keep being drawn like a moth to a flame. Don't get your wings burnt. So what the angels are saying here is you're both drawn to each other like moths to a flame. The feminine and the masculine can't help but be drawn together because you're only whole when you're together, you know. But you have to learn on your separate journeys to fill that void with other things, to fill it with source energy, to fill it with the divine, to fill it with the universe, to fill it with heaven. All the love from heaven and source is what completes you, even though your masculine or your feminine completes you. So you have to learn unconditional love. You know, when we want things now or we expect it a certain way or things don't go to plan and we get annoyed or we expect a person to behave a certain way for us to be happy, we're putting conditions down. And the twin flame dynamic is all about unconditional love. So the reason that we go into separation, the reason we go on our own journeys is so we can learn that through patience and strength and understanding and we have to learn that our happiness doesn't come from anybody else, nor even our twin flame. It comes from ourself, from self-love, from self-worth, self-healing. And it comes from our connection with the universe. So when we fill our cup up, we become so bright and beautiful. We attract everything to us like a moth to a flame, including our divine counterpart. And that's what the angels are saying here. They're saying, don't keep chasing, don't reach out, don't keep following and clinging on because that's when you get your wings burnt. 
you know that's when things don't go to plan because you're expecting it to be a certain way you want it to be a certain way so you're holding on and you're trying to control the situation and the angels say the only way to control to stop control is to let go and as I'm saying it there's a motorbike it was just revving up outside and I was thinking please stop and the angels were saying Again, you're trying to control as your outside circumstances. You can't control anything. You just have to allow it to be. And when I thought, okay, it's fine, there's a knock on the door. There's knocks on the door. <coughs> Hiya. Right. I can swarm it with pen for it. There's that street there. Next street. Over there. Oh, this is a stand. This is Stanton. It's the one at half go. It's on the only phone. It's oh, that right. one over there. You just go round the block, up there, right next one, right. Can you turn right? Yeah, turn oh, right. Sorry about you. You're alright, thank you. Oh, wow. I kept it running then for a reason because. <clears throat> the angels are saying there's unexpected things going on right now. I was just talking about that motorbike and that guy knocked on the door. That was something unexpected. That was something that wasn't planned. See? Everything happens for a reason. That's why I'm telling you this. It's really important, you know. He's gone now. So the angels are saying when you release and surrender and let go, you get knocks on the door. You get unexpected things happening because that's the way of the world. When you finally surrender and let go, everything is drawn to you like a moth to a flame. And I hope that's just proved a point there. You couldn't write this stuff. You know, they get synchronicities in our face to say, look, there's going to be contact. Your masculine is going to knock on the door. Your masculine is going to communicate with you, text you, email you contact you on social media your masculine is coming but he's only coming if and when you let go when you focus within when you focus on you when you focus on living the best version of your life you can possibly live and you focus on feeling good and looking good and doing amazing things for you that's when the unexpected will happen and you'll get action from your divine masculine. I hope this has made you smile. It's really put it into perspective today, especially with it being Easter, what this journey means. But remember, you are irresistible to your twin flame, just like a moth to a flame. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.